So, welcome back. It's another pug build. It's the pug version 2. Um, I think most of you will agree. I've absolutely had my money's worth out of this. Um, the original structure, dare I say, is in, still in one piece after trying it on standard bungees, crashing it into cars and skidding off the tops of tarmac roads and all sorts of silly things. I love my pug. The only thing I would say is I'm on about my third hatch and that is entirely my fault, not the design. Now, when I heard that the Pug 2 was coming out, I asked Andy from uh, Angel Wing Designs uh, what was his reasonings behind uh, coming out with a version 2. So he very kindly, because he's that sort of chap, sent me a list. So basically his design goals were to further improve the overall build experience, well if you've ever built an Angel Wings Designs glider before, superb, so that's going to be interesting if he's going to improve on that. Reduce the sanding and weight of the tips, that's a fair point. Improve the rudder response, enhance the wing section and totally re-image the canopy hatch. That might be uh, my fault. <laughs> so the changes. There's an enhanced wing section, increased dihedral, he's replaced the trailing edge with a carbon fibre rod, Ooh. increased the number of ribs to reduce sagging, well we, none of us like a bit of sagging so that's always good, reduce the amount of centre sheeting and tip weight, Remove the need to drill and tap the wing hole mounts. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's great. That takes out some error, I suppose. Resin printed canopy magnet retainer. A resin printed wing hole downs with steel nuts. A resin printed push rod guides. Resin printed tailplane mount. I've just had a look. Now I am going to go through, like I traditionally do, is I'll lay everything out for you, but these look absolutely superb. Overall reduction in sanding, an optional, now this is interesting, so there's going to be um, a res fin for those of you that just want to bungee, because the problem is if you try and bungee this, you've got to be careful with this um, on the bottom of your, uh, catching it on your arm here, so that's a great idea. And also um, a V-tail. I love a V-tail, so I'm going to be a little bit undecided about which route I'm going to go on this. Um, and also separate plans for either wing, so nobody ends up building two left-hand wings. And now, so there's a full set of PDF instructions here. Why do you need a video? I mean, there you go, superb instructions. Now, I've gone old school, printed them off, but I've also got my laptop as well. So, enough of me waffling, let's crack on and let's build a Pug version 2. Just thought I'd give some advice about before we start the kit. Nice sharp blade, I like to use these um, Swan Mortons, and I change them regularly. I'm a big fan of using nail files particularly on this size of model. Um, you, we're going to need to use um, super glue in certain areas. And my, I'm a big fan of this super fatic glue and you can use PVA glues. Quite a lot of the time I'll use this type of um, Gorilla Goo. Um, it's a very good glue. The dispense is rubbish but that's uh, nothing to do with me. So, anyway, just a little tip there about um, what we're going to need. Um, tell you what's also good, get yourself down to Pound Shop and buy a shed load of these. These are always dead handy. Um, a few pins, and sometimes if you've got it kicking about, a bit of blue tack would be good as well. So here we go. This is the pug unopening. So, let's just... <clears throat> So control wires, they pop right out. <laughs> um, you've got a sheet off for the right wing. There is a sheet for the left wing with some important dimensions on the uh, boom 
boom placement and everything so that's uh, they've got to be ironed um, now oh, glossy feather cover I ordered this extra um, so this is a new version this is gloss feather cover so we'll be giving that a go ah, let's have a little look here uh, and I'm just going to get these all out for it again superbly packed these are all the 3D printed bits um, and we'll just pop them there and a lot the way, oh look at that, I mean unlike some kits this is just falling straight out all the, all the hardwoods all cut all the way through um, there's the tail, now that's the res tail which I've asked for uh, although I am umming and ahhing about the V-tail. So there's another sheet there. That's another sheet there with a few large sides. And oh, there's the other wing ribs. Tail plane. go through all of these now let me just move the box out of the way so we've got some smaller carbon I'm gathering they might be for the trailing edge and then we've got what I assume might be the boom so I've got one two three four strips of this carbon, small gauge carbon rods. I've got a thicker carbon which I'm assuming that's going to be your pod and then I've got these two which are smaller so I'm gathering that these might actually be the um, yeah the main spar. So that's what you're going to need in your kit. It's all in picture so there you go if I just do that now, you now know exactly, there you go. Okay, so the very first thing we've got to do is we are going to make the nose block as per the instructions. New blade in your knife when you start a new kit. Um, so, we're just going to be cutting these out. And I'm going to clamp them all together in the season as it's shown in the pictures. Little tip, if this is your first build, I would advise don't use super glue or cyano on this. Use a PVA type wood glue because that when we come to sand this, it just makes it easier. Unfortunately, super glue, uh, when it dries, dry and it will have hard bits to it. And that's harder to sand than the um, wood and you'll end up and it's very difficult to get it to okay so the next things we're going to need to cut out we want these four formers you're going to need your two fuselage sides now my advice is these fuselage sides here this is also got your canopy with it my advice is I would cut the canopy out at the same time by put these two this and this put certain back in the box somewhere safe So huge large side, remembering just to get the hole for the boom, goes at the bottom. We're just going to sit these all along here. You can add the smallest little, just the tiniest little drop of cyanide just to hold these in place. Now this one fits on the front of the fuse large, not like so. So that fits on there. like so and then the next one just making sure you get the angle right uh, with the nut underneath drops in there like so um, and then we then add 
the other side, remembering just to get it all square. Okay, I've glued the basic fuzz together. I've added the uh, tailpiece. Remember that the uh, nut goes underneath. So the next stage is we are going to add the nose block, making sure we get it round in the right orientation like so. And then uh, the next thing is I'm going to add the nose block and then we are going to take out that bit of sheeting this bit of sheeting, this bit of sheeting here, and they are going to be added um, like so here. And that one is going to go in the front when I've got my block on. Right, so that's all on just going to put that to one side now we now need those two little bits of the fuselage which I told you to put safely away we're going to need that and this chap here and uh, don't chuck those out by the way because I might have a cheeky little idea for those so just put them back in your box for the time being so the idea is is that um, what's actually going to happen is that that's going to get glued to there like so. Now bearing in mind you've got a double curve so it's going to be curving inwards and uh, you've got an outer curve for the canopy as well. So that they're both going to go on there like so. This is going to drop in the middle. Now just remember that um, when you actually glue this in you want that lip you want that lip showing because that's helping with the retention of the canopy. Right, so I shall crack on with that. You can, if you want to, you can moisten um, this bit of uh, canopy to get it to um, curve a bit more. Just be careful because the grain is going this way. It's quite easy to break. Just to give you some idea of how good the uh, laser cutting on these angel wing designs I've glued those to the sides and all I'll do is I just tacked it held it got it in the center tacked it held it moved it all the way down that has just slid straight in there it's absolutely dog on now just to prove to you I've not done any sanding, that has just dropped straight in. Right, finished the canopy, popped a little magnet in there. You will have to just chamfer, as it says in the instructions, just that edge. And that fits down beautifully now. Now, next thing is golden tip. The magnet to hold the canopy down, you see that magnet, that needs to be facing downwards. So you need to be looking at that. So when that's in place, um, that's what you want to be seeing. Right, all I did was I got some sacrificial wood from the kit and I fitted that down inside, sitting on top of the catch. So basically we're taking up the space. I got this clamp, I put that through onto there like so, this is just to check the fit, pop that on there like that, come on, fantastic, so I'm just going to glue that in place, I'm either going to use epoxy or a PVA glue. Uh, I'm not going to use Sino with this, I'm going to use a, a slow curing glue. I'm going to give this a sand up and we're moving on to the wings. <laughs> 